Hey everyone, so this is the next video talking about options for the sample function. Last video we covered pitch, which increases the pitch but keeps the sample at the same length. We talked about rate, which will speed up the sample or slow down the sample, but in addition will change the pitch. And then we also looked at our pitch, which will change the pitch by changing the rate. Uh, so hopefully all that made sense. And then we also just looked at how the rate uh, affects the sample duration. So if you're using sample duration for sleep. So one more thing I'm going to show you here uh, is choosing, maybe you have a longer sample and you want to just play part of that sample instead of the entire sample. So uh, I have a longer sample here. Okay, so that sample lasts for uh, maybe like eight to 10 seconds, something like that. So let's say I just want to take that first chunk of the sample, maybe just the little guitar part uh, to hear that instead of all the extra trailing off that it does. So what I can do is, again, when I'm using any of these options for sample, I always need to have a comma to go along with it. So I'm gonna use what's called finish. Okay, so finish is basically I can choose where I want the sample to end. All right, now an important thing to know about finish uh, and start, which we're going to look at in a moment, is that it takes an argument between zero and one. You can't go any higher or lower than that. Like if I do finish two, it's going to give me an error because it says it must be between zero and one. Inclusively just means you can use one. You don't have to use 0 0.99999. You can give it one, okay? So I can't use anything between that. And basically what you can think about that is that it's a percentage of the sample. So if it was at one, that means 100% of the sample is going to play. So let's say I did 0 0.5. So this is saying play 50% of the sample. Start at the beginning, and then when the sample is halfway through, stop. So this is what it would sound like. So you hear it just kind of cut short right there. So it cut short right at the halfway point of however long that sample is. So I could do maybe play 2.5. That means it's only going to play 25% of the sample. Start at the beginning and then go 25% of the way and then stop. So it cuts there. Now, again, maybe I'm trying to, you might have to play around. So I'm just going to quickly try and. Okay, so maybe like 1.3. So like that, blah, 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 that's the thing I'm looking for, okay? So now when I play it, that I have it do that. Now, just to show you again, so let's say I use sample duration here. Let's say I wanna play maybe that over and over again. If I do this guitar E9, and then I wanna play that little part again, listen to what happens. So it played, and I use the sample duration of that same sample, but there's this long pause, and then I hear it again. So what happens is when you use finish, you are actually making the sample shorter. Here I said sleep for the entire duration of this guitar EM9 sample, but the full sample, that full eight to 10 seconds, whatever it is. So if I want it to sleep for exactly that amount of time, I need to sleep for the, with the finish option as well. Okay, so then you get that effect. Okay, so just keep that in mind when working with finish or start, which we'll look at, and you're gonna use sample duration for that, make sure you include it in there as well. All right, so as I was saying, maybe instead of finishing it, I'm going to start at the beginning and using finish to cut it short. I mean, I don't want to start until halfway through the sample. So I don't like the beginning part. I want to get sort of the ending trail off part that we get there. So I could do start at 0 0.5. So this is saying start the sample at 50% of the way through and then play it all the way to the end. So if I do this, 
So I don't get that guitar part, the da 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 da, that doesn't happen because that happens after 50% of the way through. So again, I get that going there. And that's kind of cool too. I sort of this sort of just ambient little atmosphere sound there. And again, if I wanted to do a sleep sample duration for that length, okay, just to sort of drive this point home, and I wanted to maybe play that more than once, if I run it like this, but then I don't put start for the sample, it's gonna take a while before it comes in again. So if I wanted it to last that entire time, I could do it like this. Okay, so there you have it. Now, in case you're wondering, can you use start and finish together? Like I just wanna have a little teeny chunk in the middle of the sample, then absolutely. Make sure you use another comma, so finish, and let's say maybe 0.75. So this means start at 50% of the way through, and then play until you get to 75% of the way through that sample, and I run it. Okay, maybe I'll even cut that a little shorter just that part there. Okay, so again, if I wanna do a sleep for the sample duration of that, I'd have to include all of this along with it. Now, you also may be wondering, just to kind of tie everything together, could I use a pitch or rate along with this? And I could, let's me change the pitch. Okay, so I can take that chunk out uh, using start and finish and change the pitch. I could change the rate. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll make it a little. Maybe I want to do it backwards. Or maybe I want to do it like real. Okay, so I could play around with that as well. So you can combine all of these options that we looked at in this video and the previous video. So for the assignment, uh, I want you to go through and just make some sort of composition using samples and incorporating these different options that we looked at here. So in the uh, document for the submission, this is where your code can go. Again, just copy and paste whatever you do. Hey, Rosie, uh, and put it in there. I have included a just a quick little uh, run through here of how samples work, how sample duration works, and then it talks about using pitch and rate and start and finish. I think the only one not here is our pitch, uh, but just to remind you, you can go into the help window in the tutorials uh, under samples. It talks about stretching samples using rate. It talks about partial samples using start and finish. You can also uh, check out Lang and it will get in, if you look up, uh, go to S for sample, it gives you a bunch of different, see there's rate. Uh, and there's a few other things in here as well. So I'll come back to that in one moment. So if you wanna need a little recap or just something besides the video, this will give you that. But then for the assignment, this is a checklist I want you to use. So it goes by levels one, two, three, and four. You can just basically consider those the rubric. Uh, so. Level one, you're just using the sample command in your code correctly. Two, I wanna see at least two or more samples being used and that you're using sample duration as a sleep value somewhere. Uh, manipulating samples, so all the options we just looked at, pitch, rate, or our pitch, and then start and or finish. And then a level four is you're kind of taking something that maybe we already know. So using an array or a ring in uh, for a sample, like can you put sample names inside of an array or a ring and have each one play going through that way? Or could you use a ring of different pitches or R pitch or rate to make interesting sounds and changes with your samples? I'll also include the just the reference sheets on arrays and rings in the assignment as well to take a look at that. Uh, and then if you want to go out and find some additional 
things that you can do with samples, either in the tutorials and the sample section. Uh, oh yeah, so in here, samples, just so you know, I think I covered this, this shows you all the different samples that you can use, uh, sort of broken up into categories. But then if you go down, it also gives you other commands that you can do. So you could try these after any sample. There's rate, there's start, there's finish, there's pitch, uh, but there's other things as well. You can kind of read up on them and just try them in your code and see what happens. Same thing in the lang part of the help here. If you go to sample uh, and look through it, uh, let's get back here for a second. Here we go. There we go. So it talks a little bit about it and then it gives, there's rate, there's Okay, attack, sustain, release, scene, start and finish, but some ones we haven't played around with. Uh, so read up on that, look at them, and then in the lang, if you go down, there's a whole bunch of code examples to kind of see how it does, and it talks a little bit about what happens when you do it. So to get to a four, uh, again, trying stuff either we've learned that I didn't cover in these videos or things we haven't yet learned that you found in the tutorial or the help window and experimented and put that into your code, okay? And then when it's all said and done, just copy it from your Sonic Pi window, paste it in here. Any questions you have about something you wanted to do but weren't able to do, uh, I've just left this here for you to add that question um, and I'll try and get back to you or answer it if there's something you, you really wanted to try but weren't able to figure out. So that is the assignment for this week. So using these sample function options in your composition to play around with samples. All right, uh, again, if you have any questions, you know where to email me through Jupyter or my email, or you could leave a comment, a private comment on the doc in Google Classroom. So can't wait to see what you all do, uh, and I'll see you next time.